Well, good morning. It's Woman of Truth here. I'm going to give an update on uh, the wood stove, mini wood stove installation that I think is very, very important. Um, I had purchased a pipe. Well, let's, let's just summarize uh, the past several days. Once the stove arrived and I started to do the research on how to properly install and to safely install it, I ran into this issue where um, I discovered that there was no such thing as a chimney grade uh, four inch flue pipe. At least I could not find one, but I could find a distributor, which is Tiny Homes, and then there's one or two others out there that um, sell three and four inch flues and claim they are, you know, uh, a good chimney pipe <clears throat> for when you enter in through the, the roof or go through the wall. And so I had to spend two full days and nights well into the wee hours of the morning, just researching and educating. And gosh, it's, we had good weather for those two days, two good weather days in which I could have installed the thing, but I couldn't do it uh, simply because I just lacked the knowledge and I really wanted to do it right. So after just, you know, troubleshooting and going to hardware stores and going online and researching, researching two full days, and I, I concluded that I just could not afford to go to tiny homes and purchase the pipe that they claim is a chimney pipe. Um, and so I, you know, I ordered um, pellet stove um, insulated double wall pipe to go through the ceiling. And actually I was just gonna use one piece, take it right on through. My conscience was bothering me because I knew that the makers of that particular pipe for pellet stove say this is not for a wood stove and as you can see this tiny woodsman made by David at Northwoods Fab he makes a very large opening inside this stove so we're going to put we're going to be able to put a good amount of wood in there and this is going to get hot so all through the night I struggled with it I'm resistant to to shop from uh, tiny homes simply because I have to pay $40 in shipping, close to $40 in shipping, and I'm not confident what they're selling me. And please don't, 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 uh, uh, mistake this as saying I don't trust them. At, that is not it. It's just that I am a researcher and I want to know who makes the pipe that I'm going to be using and why is that particular pipe better than a, um, a double wall insulated pellet stove pipe. So, you know, but I couldn't find a manufacturer out there. And well, anyway, I decided to go ahead and buy their product. And when the product comes in, I didn't buy the entire kit. I bought it piece by piece. I bought a single wall telescope pipe because I know that I only need a uh, a short portion of it and then the rest of that pipe is going to go on through the roof and so I ordered a 20 inch <coughs> excuse me chimney pipe four inch an adapter to go to it um, I did not order the roof vent kit uh, which was $70 I did not order the roof uh, bracing uh, I, which I'm not sure what that's called but it's how you secure the pipe in position so it doesn't move around to the roof and I looked at it they sell it for like 70 some odd dollars and there is just no way I'm spending that when I can make one myself probably under ten dollars and using a high uh, heat steel and L brackets and and <clears throat> yeah there was no way I can make a brace that will be just as good for under $10. So <coughs> when we do the install, I am going to make a video of the entire process because I think this is going to be extremely helpful for people out there who want one of these stoves and they're like me. They bought a, um, a $380 stove and then 
the sticker shock of turning around and doing it right and having to spend 500 plus dollars to buy someone else's kit and they're really not 100% confident that what they're buying is actually chimney pipe. So all of this is gonna make sense when we're done. And again, forgive me, if I sound like I'm knocking tiny homes, I am not at all knocking them. Um, after uh, ordering my parts and paying $40 or close to $40 in shipping, I'm going to be paying $240 for the parts I ordered from them. That's relatively inexpensive compared to if I were to purchase the kit, which is pushing $600. And the boot that goes on top of the roof, uh, theirs was much higher than the one I found. I found one for a third, or actually a quarter of the price. And again, not knocking them. They know what they're doing. Um, but for those of us who are on a budget and we want one of these stoves, but we don't want to cut the corners and do something wrong and, and live in a dangerous situation. I mean, Northwoods Fab, who created this stove, they make it very plain. This stove was not created for an in -dwell for inside a dwelling, a permanent dwelling. Very honestly tell you, this is, this is more of an outdoorsman camping stove and they, yeah, they're totally honest. And that's why, you know, they, they don't sell the chimney pipe. So we're going to get to the bottom of who really manufactures a four inch chimney pipe. And that's going to be information that I think is going to be helpful. And that's where Bobby, the detective comes in. So it's not an insult to any uh, manufacturer out there or distributor not at all. It's just in my nature to get down to the how, what, when, where, why, and everything else involving um, the materials that we'll be using. And I'm super excited. I'm at peace now. Um, <coughs> even though I don't know the manufacturer of the chimney piece that we'll be going through here, I do trust that Tiny Homes has been doing this for a long time and they wouldn't be selling me a product that's really just a... Um, you know, just a, a double wall insulated uh, stainless steel um, pellet stovepipe. So have a wonderful day, folks. Uh, God bless you. It is so windy out that my little camping night in here last night, I cut it short. The wind started scaring me, but it sure was cozy. I can't wait to, to see how cozy it's going to be when we fire up uh, after this install. Of course, we have to take the stove out and we have to do a pre-burn outside. Uh, but once I get the pipe, I'll pull it outside, attach the pipe, and let that pipe burn off as well. Let it cool down <coughs> and then complete the install. But we have to pick a very nice day outside. So if I run into problems and have to call Bill and Sue crying that I made a major mistake, um, there will be enough sunlight in the day and enough you know, warmth out there to fix my mess ups. So have a wonderful day, folks. May God bless you. God bless America. Have a wonderful weekend.